so welcome guys uh, today i am showing how to create a parametric component like parametric component in freecad uh, this is a freecad dashboard so first i will show the existing component which i already created in the freecad so uh, this this is a component Mm, and and we have uh, like a uh, first component is root and in the root there is a component the other one is uh, like flow data uh, which hold all the shapes and data of the flow the other one is inner walls and the other one is zone so and the component is like main component so main component in the main component Uh, like uh, uh, it is it is separated into two parts one is uh, like the shape which we have created by using these tools and the other one is pi feature object which hold uh, like which control the object like if i make like uh, 200 bag length set then you see the sketch length is uh, changed and if uh, same here if i add like 150 mm plate width then it will like increase the height of the back filter so mm -hmm. so uh, like uh, this flow data uh, the flow data control the like it's just a path which tells uh, like which is inlet and which one is outlet mm. Mm, we will discuss it later and uh, this these are inner walls like you see mm. and there are a, uh, like a lot of zones in this like we have no not serviceable zones uh, these are not serviceable zones like that mm. so like without wasting any time let's start how to create component mm. so uh, so let me open a file inside we get when there are files like we have templates in a template uh, i am selecting airbag template so now in, in this uh, like the basic uh, like uh, boiler plate is ready uh, so we just uh, create a component shape and then uh, and attach with uh, to these uh, uh, python scripted object and that set so uh, like uh, i forgot to tell you like in this uh, uh, like we basically use uh, the sketcher workbench and the part workbench here so we are going to create on the like the yz plane like uh, the y represent uh, the depth the z represent the height and x represent the length so we select this and so let's mm. so we create a like a, a rectangle and we have properties like bag length so let's change it to 200 as you see like uh, the name of uh, this object is uh, uh, like air bag filter so in this uh, uh, we are uh, in this sketch we are uh, going to this like i select this face 
and constraint it uh, with respect to its uh, like length and here just add it like airbag filter it's like plate length and this one is plate width like uh, when the model is uh, like the sketch is fully constrained uh, it it is in uh, like uh, it the change color of the sketch uh, will change like now it has one degree of freedom uh, like we can move this component in one degree so let's fix it Air back filter plate length divide by two. So now you see it's at the center. So now <laughs> we created a sketch and now we are uh, like uh, extrude it to make it a 3D object. Mm. And for extruding, we use uh, like part workbench and select this sketch and here and click on ok button so you see like uh, this we will extrude this into forward so let's make it into negative and mark it plate thickness so so uh, so right now we have created a the base plate of uh, the filter and uh, and now we can uh, control this uh, from here like if plate length uh, is equal to 200 then it is like that this is fully parametric now change it 200 so now we create the shape of uh, the bags so for doing that let's select this edge go to the sketcher and now click and now flat face uh, this show like we are making a new sketch uh, we and which is uh, dependent to this face so it's like that So now we will like mark this and create three cones. So and add adds a constraint like uh, uh, distance between each cone is same. So let's do it. And we have some uh, like uh, in the sketcher workbench we have construction line. And the uh, the lines which we are using uh, during the time of construction, it will not see in the output of the sketch shape. It's just for constraining in the sketch so like that like that ah you see there is one message like constraint 17 is redundant
so we will oops so there is one redundant constraint uh, which we removed and now the sketch is uh, like that and we will also like add it now now we will uh, like now see this now we have 8 degrees we can uh, move uh, like uh, this sketch in 8 degrees now we will fix it now we will first select and the length of uh, all these construction lines should be same so here we use uh, equality constraints so see hmm. and we set the height of this Oops, let's double click like the height of this node from this node it's here back filter yes back length and, uh, uh, and the length of uh, this Mm, is equal uh, the length of these nodes uh, is equal uh, like uh, the width of uh, this the width the width sorry mm, the length of uh, the plate uh, minus two time the cover uh, like you see like we have some dummy properties in <coughs> in the pie feature object like plate thickness it's like whole whole side cover so we have to subtract two times to make it equal so let's do so the so the length of this is equal to plate length minus two time airbag filter into whole side cover so it should be 90 yeah as you see and let's constraint this node also So now this model is almost uh, constrained but we have 3 degrees as 3 degree because three we can move 3 nodes like this one. So how to fix it? Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, now now we know the length of uh, this area and and the length of uh, this area is uh, uh, like uh, divided into uh, divided into uh, like six nodes one is like this the other one is here the third one four one fifth one and the sixth one so from that uh, we can like constrain these nodes uh, so let's do So I just copy this constraint We have zero
ah there is one another way if we just constrain this node on the middle node with this then the problem will solve like uh, there are uh, like a lot of ways like how to constrain one sketch uh, now i found like if i constrain this node with this node so almost the sketch is constrained and the length of uh, this is equal yeah see now this is constraint i just uh, copy this and i also like uh, add co length constraint here also fix it like we will also add here distance so now you see <laughs> this sketch is now fully constrained here we use uh, like mm, here we use uh, like uh, three construction line like one is here and other one is here and other one is here and we uh, like mark this with that so uh, cool <laughs> so we have like that kind of sketch now we will extrude it by using part work which so let's extrude it into okay zoom we extrude it to 90 and uh, you see uh, right now these are uh, looks uh, like open this is uh, because the sketch is uh, like not solid when we change this into solid oh uh, basically this happens uh, uh, be because uh, uh, right now the sketch is open mm, so uh, we have to add one line from this to this uh, to make a sketch uh, closed mm. so let's switch on. We are stuck at here. Uh, 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 we we make it a solid true, but uh, these section are not uh, going to be solid. I investigated, and <coughs> uh, uh, this problem is because of uh, like uh, this edge. Uh, uh, this uh, cone is fully cons uh, fully like solid, but uh, because uh, uh, this is a one sketch and this part is uh, only solid so these part are open for for doing it all solid we have to remove this constraint and same here so now just add a like a 1 mm gap and same here Uh, now you see they have now this is one closed surface earlier we have three closed surface now we have only one closed surface now, now it create this
and and now you see uh, like uh, this is now the height is uh, not uh, uh, the same so let's extrude the height the height is equal to uh, like uh, the the plate uh, uh, the plate height minus 2 times the side cover the bag side cover so uh, let's add it like air bag filter plate width minus 2 into all side cover and now it's reduced and we also have to like change the position of uh, the sketch to bottom it's in z axis so it should be minus as you see now this air bag filter is ready <laughs> so let's change <coughs> so now let's tr try from here like uh, if we change the height of plate length it's like that if we increase the whole side cover to 20 the model is like that so now this model is fully constrained uh, fully and fully parametric uh, uh, right now we have some here dummy properties like uh, as you see uh, you can add more as you need <coughs> like i will try to add a couple of more like object from this uh, selection view we add this object uh, select this object and uh, click to python console so this uh, object is stored in obg or now we have some function like uh, add properties here we type uh, uh, the property name property length and the name of the property like um, some property some property so now you see like uh, this property is added here and uh, now we can uh, change it to like set and add constraint like add some constraint to this but uh, right now uh, we don't need this property so we will uh, remove this property like remove property some property so now this property is uh, removed mm. so this is uh, like model so we have two components so we will compound it like you see make compound so let add the label like air bag filter shape and now add it here so now this model is at here so now uh, the model is ready so uh, now let's create the zones <coughs> so now uh, right now we have five zones like air clearance zone uh, the component zone not serviceable zones opening zone like any any model can contain a like a 
uh, more than one number of uh, air clearance zone uh, like uh, this model has uh, two opening air clear, uh, opening zones so let make a couple of these zones like in couple of we have like that this is by which now let's create the shape of this it's a not serviceable zone so i select this face and and go to like the flat face and create a zone shape of the zone like here so see here name so the name is uh, zone 009 So now this sketch is also fully constrained. So you see. So now let's extrude it. Go to the part workbench and okay. So let's it's going to. it's equal to the its length so this is uh, let change the color of the zone to make it beautiful and add some temporary transparency effect so now we have and it's not serviceable zone and here we add it into the component so now we can control this from here like height it should be So now uh, in this model, in the opening zone, um, the um, serviceable zone is exactly same as not serviceable zone. So uh, we just uh, like uh, copy this, like copy these object and place here. So and change the name of this. like uh, and change the color of this zone also like uh, right now this zone is uh, controlled by this object because we copied this is uh, but we can uh, add the constraint of the serviceable zone like this is uh, zone 0 13 so we updated all the constraints 0 13 
find its length. Add it to here. So this is uh, the middle one is uh, like serviceable zone. The bigger one is not serviceable zone. So uh, right now I am skipping the opening zone. Uh, you, uh, you are doing. You will do same like uh, like uh, select the face of the component. Select any face of the component and create your own shape, and then constrain it to with the, the opening zone, like pie feature object, and then you can uh, like then you can mark it with this and here it's uh, like uh, for the opening zone we have uh, like type like uh, mm, uh, this opening zone uh, should valid uh, when the component is in which field like which air stream uh, like like uh, in some cases uh, uh, we are uh, creating opening zones which are only valid when this filter is in eta stream so we make it like here but uh, uh, right now i am uh, make it like this opening zone is valid for both when the component is in the eta air stream or supply it stream and we have the type here like which show like this is uh, inlet or outlet and this opening zone is should be inlet or outlet and for the component zone we here we only have uh, like uh, this pie feature object here we just add the shape of the real component because component zone is actually same as the shape of the component so here the its compound so here we will Ah, this one so now if we hide this this is component zone it's uh, it's a copy of uh, mm, the link sh shape so now let's hide so uh, right now what we did like we have created the shape of the component and also uh, created the zone shapes but <coughs> to make it fully ready a uh, component we have also add the data of uh, the uh, of the air streams like in which direction air goes from this for that we have one component here like flow data and in flow data we have two air stream like eta and sub First, we will fill the supply air, air stream. So, in the supply air stream, here uh, we attach the object. Like th the shape of this. and now we can create uh, uh, the face of uh, this inlet uh, by using two ways uh, first is by using the bounding box of this let me explain like if, if we create it into negative uh, y axis then the face should be at here then the face and if we are creating at here then we have to give like uh, the x positive 
so the face is like that and we can also specify this uh, surface by uh, giving the name of uh, the face like like suppose if if we are giving this as uh, inlet of sub so this face is uh, like see the status bar uh, like we select it and this is face 12 so we will just add it like face 12 so now this is uh, as you see this is inlet of this I use uh, these operation to just explain the functionality of uh, this inlet but so so right now we are giving uh, mm, inlet as same as that so this face is face number six so here we and the outlet is uh, here so for the outlet we take the direction oh, and attach the component so now you see this is the outlet now mm, now we specify the direction of uh, inlet here the direction of uh, this uh, like the air goes from this to this and mm, we give like air goes from uh, to positive x-axis direction so that's why we make it like one zero zero and same for the outlet and do the same thing for the inlet when the component is in inlet in eta stream as you see uh, now we are just uh, uh, making the same things here for the inlet and for the outlet but uh, this is uh, like these object are exactly same in this air bag filter but when we have uh, like the component called like fax plate heat exchanger their inlet nodes and the outlet nodes are different so in in that component in that type of component we have to like uh, make the different inlet and outlet so so now we almost uh, uh, ready this so now we are uh, going to create the inner walls so for the inner walls we have some rules uh, like uh, inner walls like it take a, it is a group where we can add number of uh, in in walls inner walls and this first uh, component hold uh, hold the like uh, the direction of uh, air streams and the another one is uh, like vertex data we will see it uh, later now i am going to create the inlet in next set So here we mark external edge and then create the inner wall. Here I am just changing the position. Oh. 
otherwise if i do it will my sketch is automatically constrained with this but i have to constrain with this edge now uh, uh, this is a way like how we can extra uh, like add the minimum and the maximum of uh, the inner cross section of the inner wall so let's see uh, you will understand so first make it this constraint and this edge should be inclined add one vertex at here so now this sketch first fix it Let's see the name of this. The picture name is inner wall. So let add the distance of this. change its diameter so now this sketch can be only inside that it cannot uh, go beyond uh, the circle so let's do the same stuff at bottom you see like for constraining this sketch uh, like i am using a lot of construction lines let add the diameter
so now uh, this sketch is almost ready now the few things uh, which we have to done for the inner wall algorithm like now each sketch uh, like the sketch of uh, this inner wall should be inside like a circle it cannot go beyond the circle now uh, let's constrain it so here first constrain these nodes uh, so we have to constrain these node with respect to the component so we will add some vertex here so like here so here we have add this vertex and now we will add the position of vertex so after that we will like constrain these four corners with that vertex compound is uh, the name of the airbag filter like the shape shape pound box center x So now we have here one vertex uh, like you see uh, this one so we will constrain all the things uh, with here we select this whenever you select anything you will see at here in a selection view so here now uh, i am taking bounding box uh, and x length is uh, the length of the bounding box and the uh, and this bounding box is uh, the bounding box of uh, the airbag filter shape so i add here here like uh, some one this uh, one is because uh, ah so for the two so i add just one here uh, to uh, like to so that this edge should not collide with this edge so uh, right now i like uh, make it like more than one to make uh, visible more say 10 so you see now and same thing did here compound so i copy for the other constraints for here So now uh, mm, this sketch has only two degrees. 
so now basically the this is ready for uh, like uh, for the inner wall algorithm but like we have to constrain this sketch uh, as as the height of uh, this uh, like uh, the height of uh, these uh, like inner walls uh, depend on the next component like is assume like if the next component has bigger and then this inner uh, and this edge should uh, connect with the next edge so this height should be like increase or decrease depending upon the next component so uh, for right now we just uh, like add here a constraint like here for just making it fully constrained and we make it uh, like um, add the name of uh, the constraint like uh, toggle one uh, like uh, this one mm, this thing uh, like uh, the algorithm read this thing like uh, any uh, name and in, any constraint if toggle is present then it means uh, this constraint is temporary uh, it's not uh, this constraint is just uh, temporary and it will remove this constraint during uh, like uh, joining the inner edges so i do hit it here and same for here so this is toggle 2 so now this sketch is a constraint now uh, like we also have to like uh, during uh, joining this inner edges with another component the edges of uh, this should be uh, not constrained during joining so we also have to like add their names like uh, uh, for specifying the nodes edges like uh, we have to give like here like toggle inlet word text one here toggle means uh, like again the algorithm search it's uh, like the inlet vertex first so it will like uh, untoggle it and same for here it's name it's two and add the name toggle outlet because these are outlet vertex and so now mm, now the inner sketch of one component is finished and and you see like if we rotate the component around y axis assume 30 ah, see the, the inner wall looks like the hair which is like good and for 5 degree it's like that let's make it 0 so now here we will add this like co here component this is sketch 4 so like that and now it, it should act uh, with respect to this like if we then this sketch is like in in these uh, like we generally make it uh, the minimum one like here one mm and now uh, we have to like uh, uh, specify the detail of uh, the inlets and the outlet 
uh, now in this like if this component is in the supply and in the eta then the inlet and uh, inlet vertex and outlet vertices are same so let's find out uh, the supply vertex how to find out open the sketch now now we know like uh, this is uh, the first vertex like the supply vertex now how to represent it like first uh, select this edge mm. like this uh, is a sketch 3 uh, edge 3 and you see like here and also like here see and now uh, like the the vertex is 5 and the vertex is 6 now it means the edge 3 like uh, the vertex 5 is uh, uh, smaller than vertex 6 uh, not smaller in number like this vertex is uh, created first and this is uh, uh, by last because we create a line from by from this point to this point so that's why this this vertex name as early so that's why it's 5 and it's 6 so uh, from here we know like edge 3 edge 3 and the vertex is uh, like 1 edge 3 so let's fill out the detail here 3rd edge and its vertex is first and same for here now uh, the inlet the inlet vertex should be 2 we have find out this now we will find out uh, this vertex now open the sketch again and we will see like this is edge 8 this is vertex 13 this is vertex 14 it means like this is 1 this is 2 it's edge th this is edge 8 now Under 8 edge 1 so great <laughs> right now we know the all the inlet and outlet vertex uh, uh, basically this, this thing is uh, like uh, from this input like is read by the inner wall algorithm while uh, joining these edges with the other sketch inner wall so that's why we have uh, just make a, a input for our inner wall algorithm so let's find out the outlet vertex go here this is like edge 8 and this vertex is 2 again this is uh, like uh, 3 edge vertex is 2 here we first like specify the first vertex which is at top and now 8 h 2 so now uh, the uh, one inner wall sketch is uh, ready mm, so let's create the sketch for this one in this uh, like the sketch is almost like when we rotate uh, this uh, component mm, to 180 degree so uh, now you see uh, like uh, the edges uh, here like the edges uh, are the same but the direction of uh, the inlet uh, should be changed so for uh, for that we have to create uh, another inner wall sketch here uh, so uh, which is uh, let's uh, make it zero
ah here forget to add them so now it's like that and for that uh, we just uh, copy this uh, sketch object like and node dependency and just place it like here and store it into sketch 2 now we have inner wall pi 001 so let's update its all constraints this should be not change this should be change it's 001 now the inlet vertices are just like opposite than the early one Uh, so let's uh, rename all the things uh, this is uh, going to be outlet vertex and this is also the outlet vertex now here we rechange rechange this is because uh, what why i did uh, because uh, the here the outlet vertices are present and uh, the similar uh, um, constraint term should not uh, be uh, valid so that's why was now we also change the nodes and now the inlet vertex is uh, of uh, this uh, is here and these are here like this is 3 2 and here is 8 2 so we will just update this info at here inlet is 3 2 same for here and one more thing i forgot to tell you like uh, here is a air flow like uh, which uh, tells uh, like uh, when we have to take this sketch when inner wall algorithm should take this sketch like uh, and here the here this sketch is only valid when the outlet and the inlet direction should be like uh, from the positive to the and the first sketch i mean and the second the second sketch is uh, only valid when the air is from the negative to x axis like as here and if the component is like that the inner wall algorithm should take uh, this is sketch and and if the component is a zero degree rotator and now the inlet and the outlet direction is uh, like to positive x axis so it will take uh, from here uh, this sketch so now we almost uh, cover all the things basically first we create a comp let recap it let's save it and uh, recap it mm. so basically first uh, uh, we have this uh, root and this uh, root has a uh, like a number of uh, things like first is component the another one is flow data the other one is inner wall and the zones so Hmm. First, we design the shape of uh, the component, which is uh, like here. 
and then we uh, update uh, then we create uh, all the zones like uh, right now i have created a not serviceable zone and serviceable zone and the component zone the component zone is just same as uh, the shape of the component so here we just uh, link the shape of the component so and after that like i uh, added uh, the in inlet and the outlet here like this is outlet and then create a inner wall sketch so cool so this is almost ready and all the things are linked with each other like if we like change the placement of uh, the um, of this um, to say 300 or everything go with up and if we rotate the component like 30 if we rotate component to assume like uh, 5 degree and all the things is like here so all the things should also because these all the zones are linked uh, with this face so in this like we only use the sketcher and the part and we have uh, almost uh, like various workbench in FreeCAD for creating the shapes I basically use uh, the most popular one so let's save it and that's it okay guys